He is the man. He saved me. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Two simple sentences. Can you put these two sentences together? Uh -huh. Yes. That's right. The man and he. Oh, it is the same person, right? So, hey, you can put them together. What do you need? Put two or more things together. That's right. You need a conjunction, right? Conjunction means like and, or but, or because, as, so on. Okay, so many different conjunctions. But in this case, uh -huh, that's human. Also, we can use, instead of this noun, so we can use pronoun. Uh -huh. Also, put this together, some kind of relationship they have. That's why we call relative pronoun. Uh -huh. Okay, relative pronoun. Okay, relative uh, means uh, we can put these two sentences together. But human case, yes, who, okay, like things, which, okay. So for both, maybe you can use that, okay, so on, okay. But uh, in this case, the first one, so the first one we call ante, ante means the before or first, okay, sedent, sedent, antecedent. Okay, uh, in this case, the rule, uh -huh, very simple, the human, yep, we pick up who, now, who family, right, now, the second one, depends on the second one, oh, he, right here, the second sentence, right, so he is subjective form, alright, that's a subjective, alright, that's why we gotta use who. What about object? Object is whom. Oh, possessive. Whose. So on. Alright. So in this case, uh -huh, the rule, again, we erase this one. Okay, he is gonna be gone. Then we use who. Okay, because subjective form. So instead of he, you use who, no more capital letter, because we're going to erase this one, so this is going to be one complex sentence, aha, not compound, okay, complex sentence, that means this one is the main class, this one is subclass, right, okay, main class, subclass together make one complex sentence, all right, also, you must know what this one is. Okay, so this whole thing right here. Okay, this one actually describes this antecedent. So, that's why this one is a noun. So, something describing noun we call adjective, right? Okay, so, adjective. Alright. Adjective what? Adjective Class. That's right. Wait a minute. Okay. If this one is not whole sentence, look at this one. Who saved me? That's why this one is a whole sentence. That's why class. Uh, if this are uh, just a few words, no subject, no verb, then we call adjective phrase. Right? So you know the difference between phrase. Okay? So phrase. Maybe adjective word. So if this one is a single word, okay, so on. Okay, what about this? He's the man, I saved him. Ho oh, ho ho. In this case, yeah, same antecedent. Okay, then, ooh, him, why right here? That's not subjective form, that's an object, object form. That's why you cannot use who, you can use whom, who, whose, whom, you remember? Okay, so, then, you just erase this one, okay, the rule, also erase this 
punctuation mark right here okay so oh right there period then you in between you have to put conjunction right what conjunction relative pronoun which is whom that's right whom okay in this case let's read he is the man whom I saved <laughs> beautiful lot better what about this uh-huh he is the man uh-huh antecedent right there okay so now which one is the same one right here that's right he's not his son he's okay he's the man so now we have to use who family okay because this is the human so now next one uh, what kind of relative pronoun we're gonna find out because this one is a possessive form see possessive okay so we're gonna use whose okay so whose then bring this one whose right here okay just like that whose now whose I saved the son uh -uh, sounds funny that's why you bring this one also okay whose son all right see then you erase this one this whole thing right here okay then also you erase what this punctuation mark right here okay so period okay no more period then means okay this one goes like this he is the man whose son I saved haha -ha, beautiful I have just talked about little bit of relative pronouns okay so now deeper that's right let me show you more in number two okay let's say this one is number one relative pronoun okay that's it see you